our back porch, uh, surrounded by some beautiful hibiscus and enjoying the beautiful fresh air. We're here to tell you a little bit about ourselves. I was born and raised in Cincinnati in a very large family, and there's 14 kids. A lovely family down there, and um, lots of lots of siblings and nieces and nephews. And um, yeah, it's a, it was a wonderful time growing up in a big family. And uh, I grew up in Toronto, in Etobicoke. Went to Michael Power High School. I had a brother, Pat, and a sister, Carol, and a sister, Catherine, who died at a very young age. Um, great parents, happy family. Um, and uh, I, I got to give a shout out to my sister, Carol Ann. Uh, Carol Ann, Carol Ann, Carol Ann, because she said I didn't mention her often enough in the book. Um, why don't you say, oh, before Jennifer says something about her family, we should mention that our photographer uh, this afternoon is our daughter, Hope. And the producer who is sitting across from us with her head down, shake, shaking her head, is our daughter, Claire. I wanted to actually just very quickly make a comment about uh, Harry's parents. Uh, as after we were married, uh, when I met them, they're just terrific, terrific uh, in-laws and awesome uh, grand grandparents to our children over the years. And uh, he came from a, a, a lovely family. And our family. Let us yeah. tell them about a little sure. bit about our family, immediate family here up in Newmarket. Uh, we have. Six awesome kids, uh, four of which are daughters and two are sons. Uh, their ages range from 36 to almost 20. Our youngest daughter is just around the corner from being 20 years of age. The, no phot the photographer. photographer, no longer a teenager. And uh, they're great kids, terrific, um, just wonderful growing up, you know, raising these beautiful children. And we really do believe that they're terrific adults and uh, they've, gotten, they've gotten closer together over terrific, the Terrific, wonderful, Yay. great, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we have three um, grandsons between the ages of almost one and six. They bring so much joy into our lives. We absolutely love them to pieces. And um, everyone loves them. They just love having them around. And to add to that whole mix, we have a, a new puppy, relatively new. Uh, she'll be a year in December, but she doesn't look like a puppy. She looks like a horse. And her name's Millie, but uh, we, we're really happy she's with us. Yeah. There is not just one thing I love about Harry. There's so many things I can say uh, why I love Harry, but um, I guess I have to be brief. Um, I just wanted to um, say first that uh, I love the fact that he embraces his faith and loves learning more and more and deepening his faith. It's so important to him. I love the fact that he's so devoted and um, to his family and loves us dearly, all of us, and shows how much he loves us every day. And um, to, to add to one more, I just I'm really uh, love about Harry that he was so disciplined and dedicated to to accomplishing this this book, this endeavor um, that we worked on together. Um, I think that's uh, what I love about Harry on this Thanksgiving weekend. You know, I'm sure there's some things I love about Jennifer. No, I love her energy, and I love her passion, and I love the way when we have family celebrations, she makes them the best, and uh, she's a good kisser. <laughs> we hope that the individuals who read the book are, are going to be are going to find hope in the book um, are going to find encouragement you know they're, they're going to read about my struggles in terms of memory and our struggles uh, as a couple and as a family when life changes dramatically uh, for, for one of the one of the spouses and for a parent and uh, and that there is still hope and, and that hope comes through our faith. Um, and I, I think being mindful of all the wonderful ways God has blessed us. Yeah, and I'd add um, to starting each day in conversation with God, even if it's just a short prayer, just starting your day off mindful of the fact that you're up and around and um, you have a lot to look forward to throughout the day and just um, just
just giving thanks for every little thing, you know, whether it's the birds in the bird bird bath or the sky, just be mindful of God's infinite um, love for us that surrounds us, you know, and the people that we know and, and the beautiful creation that he gives to us as a, a gift. So I know there's a lot of different ways to remind, be mindful. And I, I think it also it becomes somewhat of a habit, yeah. you know, and I don't mean that in, in a, any sort of a negative way. It becomes a habit to to be reflective on your life and and to consider the the many ways that that God has has blessed us and you know again when when I'm talking with people and that you know I I'm I'm able to say however this ends up um, the best is yet to come faith gives us that that you know um, God is gonna do things that we can't even begin to imagine and and that's forever so how great is that I was just laughing because a bee was attacking our camera, our camera person, That's our daughter, our daughter. That's what happens when you're on the back porch. Exactly. <laughs>